Having the right platform to practice your teletherapy on is going to make a big difference in the type of healing you are able to give your clients and the amount of ease you're going to be able to perform your job. Hey, it's Becca here with Mindful Love Solutions. We create fun informational videos helping therapists grow their own private practices and recommend tools to help them along the way. Today, I'm gonna to break down all the telehealth platforms you can decide which ones are best for you. Before we dive in, I'd like to give you a quick overview of Mindful Web Solutions. We are a team of award-winning designers and marketers committing to helping therapists, counselors, and psychologists create a beautiful, custom, responsive website. For more information about what we do, click the link in the description below. We have several different platforms to cover for you, but I still recommend trying each one of these yourself. What you may consider as a drawback on one of these platforms may not bother someone else. If you are like me and just want someone else to do the research for you, then you are in for a treat. The first platform we are going to cover today is Psychology Today's Sessions platform. This platform is fairly new, so keep in mind that it is still likely to have some glitches to work out. It's a free platform for anyone who is a member, and we know you're going to be a member because Psychology Today is a great place for you to put yourself out there for potential clients. It's it's super easy to set up. When you first log in, it prompts you to sign the BAA, which makes you HIPAA compliant. It has a waiting room very similar to DocSeeMe. You have one link to send out and it'll be the same link every time. You can use it on your phone with no account. It does require that the client use their real name when signing in. They are clearly still trying to work out the kinks and since it's new, we aren't aware of how bad the crashing is for this platform. But if you already have a Psychology Today account, it's worth the try. VT Connect is the next platform we cover. I don't have much to say about it simply because of its price. Plans start at $49.95 a month. When some of their benefits are already included in services you may already be subscribed to elsewhere for free or low cost, it seems silly to add any more overhead to your business for those redundant features. DocSeeMe is a free platform that is popular with a lot of clients simply for the fact that it is free. It requires no downloads on the clients and can be used on mobile devices. It's set up in a waiting room just like Psychology Today. Once you sign the BAA with the free version of DocSeeMe, it is HIPAA compliant. The major flaw of DocSeeMe is that it crashes. A lot. Some therapists say they can almost never get it to work for them. This is probably due to the high volume of usage they are experiencing this year. They also lack the ability to screen share and message your clients on the free version. BC Messenger is the next one we are going to cover and just like VT Connect, I don't have a lot to say on them solely because of the price of $49 a month. With much more cost efficient options out there, it just seems silly to pay this much for that service. They also have a long and compliant setup process which makes it even less worth that much. Money. Their link is the one that we are on the fence about. The cost is $30 a month, so that covers you with a BAA to make you HIPAA compliant, and it's much lower than other paid options. They also don't seem to have nearly as many complaints on site crashes like DocSeeMe. The connection is incredibly clear, and they also use the online writing room concept. The lowest option only allows you five sessions a month, so if you are solely offering teletherapy services, you would have to use the $45 a month option, which is still a bit on the pricey side. You can even accept payments through their service at the middle tier though. Next on our list is Zoom. In order to be HIPAA compliant with Zoom, you have to use their paid version, which is a whopping $200 a month. I don't think much more needs to be covered on this option. Simple Practice is a really popular tool with therapists for its ease of use. It starts at $10 per month and has low crash rates. You can also use Simple Practice to log all of your notes and do payments, invoicing forms, and any other paperwork that may be needing. They also include free messaging with the upgraded plan. The client will never need to download an app or create an account either. Therapy notes aren't getting much of a high rating from us as well. For the same services that you receive with Simple Practice, you receive with Therapy Notes, but you'll be paying way extra a month. We saved our personal favorite for last, which is Google Me. This is included in Google's $6 a month plan for all of their G Suite services to be HIPAA compliant. We have a video linked in the corner right now if you missed how to make it HIPAA secure. It's extremely easy to use for you and the client. The client will need to have the app and login if they plan on meeting with you via the phone, but they won't if they use a web browser from a computer. The crash ratings are not high at all with Google Meet either. The only downside is that you have to have a separate login for every meeting with the client. We didn't cover every platform out there, but we did cover a large number of the most popular ones with therapists and counselors using. Leave us some comments on how much this video helped you pick out the right telehealth platform and thoughts on any of the ones we didn't cover or points we missed about the ones we did cover. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more helpful tips on how to grow your own private practice. If you need a website to promote your private practice and elevate your brand, check us out online at mindfulwebsolutions.com or click the link in the description below. I'm Becca with Mindful Web Solutions and I'll see you in the next video.